Uh, Will, everyone wants to see your shirt. It's a porg. Got a, there, you go. there you go. There she is. I don't know if this shirt is a keeper or get tossed in the donate pile. It's like on the cusp of being too is small for my no, oh. it's too small for my fat frame. Okay. <laughs> uh, next up. Speaking of Star Wars. Speaking of Star Wars. Star Wars Outlaws. Players are losing progress. Now, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Because our YouTube representative was talking to me about... So I have like a meeting with him like every month or so. Right. And it's only like a half an hour. Mm -hmm. And for 20 minutes, we talked about Star Wars Outlaws. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And yeah, he lost his four hours of progress or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But it was unclear to me whether or not he needed to uh, delete his save. What? Okay. A new we'll Star see. Wars Outlaws patch released specifically for PlayStation 5 um, has affected some players' save data. Last night, Ubisoft sent out an email to certain PS5 players and informed them that they are required to install the latest patch intended to address a series of bugs as well as implement a 40 frames per second code, Ugh, excuse me, uh, which seemingly wasn't presented which seemingly wasn't present in some copies at launch. However, the publisher noted that patch 1.000.002 may cause save files to become corrupted and advise players to start fresh. Otherwise, they'll they'll be faced with game progression issues. To best experience the Outer Rim, we rolled out a maintenance um, to make sure that everyone is playing the latest version of the game, the email reads via IGM. Uh, as, as one of the players affected who had access to an older version of the game, we are aware you might you might encounter some issues after this recent patch. Uh, we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. So, anybody in the chat, have you played Star Wars Outlaws and have you uh, tried... Have you lost progress is what I'm saying. Like, have you had a corrupt save or a save that... I want to know what happens if you don't start the game over. Right. Like, what was the consequences? Right. Um, It's important to note that this article was posted on August 29th. Yes. And at the time the article's release, Star Wars Outlaws' official release date was August 30th. Yep. Which means that this issue was affecting players who bought the expensive editions, the $110 gold edition or the $130 ultimate edition, which gave you the ability to play the game early. Yes. Or reviewers, but yeah. mostly people who right. got to play the game early. Like, like, like I think our YouTube representative. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the, but that's the thing. He got the email mm-hmm. and he just uh, started the game over. Right. I would have gotten the email and said, I'm fucking playing. I'm not redoing the game. Yeah. I'm not playing another four hours. I'm going to see what happens. You know, I want to know what happens if right. you just kept playing. Uh, f- this article goes on to actually have some quotes from players. A uh, bit of a bummer because I spent several hours in it last night and restarting would kill a lot of hype for the game for me. According to one Reddit user, another said, I'm disgusted. I paid $110 and played all night, 12 hour stretch. This is how Ubisoft thanks us. Uh, yep. <laughs> Ubisoft has since released another statement via GamesRadar that provides some additional context into the matter, as well as offered compensation rewards for players affected by the issue, including a trinket for their ship and a Ubisoft Connect unit. You're entitled to compensation. Yeah. On August 27th, our team identified an issue where some PS5 players were playing on previous versions of the game. Uh, We quickly deployed an update and informed affected players to ensure their game was updated to the latest version and advised that they begin a new save to avoid additional issues and progression blockers. Uh, We followed up with affected PS5 players today to inform them we have provided them an in-game trailblazer trinket as well as 100 Ubisoft credits. Um, to redeem for in-game rewards to make their return to the Outer Rim a little more special. Kind of unacceptable. Yeah. Like, we expect a day one patch, for sure. Uh, but the day one is the game. The day the game comes out. Yeah. Especially if you pay $130. Yeah. So, so you can't just be like, oh, sorry, all of your progress means nothing. Especially yeah. for a single-player game. Yeah. Like, maybe if this was a fucking multiplayer game. It, it feels like you're playing for the, you're paying for their beta testing. Yeah. You know? Like, the people who paid a little extra, you know, for the three days they're playing, Ubisoft is just collecting data, and it's like, oh, we have to release a patch. 
Is there another case of a game releasing and then them being like, sorry, we're updating and you're going to lose all your progress? I know there's cases of like Ouch. there being game breaking bugs in a yeah. game where like your progress gets stinted, but I've never seen a company be like, you should probably start over. Like that's <sighs> crazy. Yeah, I don't. But again, I mean, I'm sure it exists. I still don't have a solid answer as to what the bug is. Like yeah. what would happen if you kept playing? Because again, I would keep playing because I'm not fucking starting Hol the game. Holy over. lettuce. Did some, uh, someone did the math on the trinket. It is a dollar in compensation. <laughs> My God. So yeah, this is another, uh, you know, effect. What? The game release says that uh, some bugs may prevent story progression if you don't That's start That's what over. they said. Yeah. That's, uh, we know that. But what is this? What is it? I want to know what the bug is. You probably get to a certain point in the game. You can't progress. I know, but I, wanna, I want yeah. verifiable proof that that actually happens. Uh, underscore on PC last night after a restart, I had to move from my other SSD to my C drive to get it loading again. I did not play. I did not play pre-release. Yeah, the game is a little rough around the edges. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. So I played it. Uh, the absolute worst part about the game is uh, if you want to get it on PC, you got to get it on Ubisoft's Connect, yeah. which is a different launcher. Uh, if you type in uh, Star Wars Outlaws PC, one of the first links that comes up is the Steam page that just has nothing on it. <laughs> it's the Steam search for yeah. Star Wars Outlaws. Um, so I was like, where the fuck do I get this game? Oh yeah, that's right. Ubisoft connect. So I had to log into Ubisoft connect. I haven't done that in a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I downloaded the game. Uh, it took me a, an absurdly long time to do it for some reason. Uh, it downloaded and then I started playing the game and I started playing it in the living room on my like living room PC. Yeah. Uh, I started playing it, got like an hour or two into the game. And then I came down here and I took my handheld over there right. and I decided to download it on that. This, this is why it took a long time too. I was trying to download it on Bazite. Okay. And I have, you, I have downloaded a Ubisoft Connect game before on Linux and I just fucking gave up. <laughs> uh, I downloaded a, a Prince of Persia. Okay. And I remember that being kind of a little bit of a pain. I remember it being a pain in the ass, but there being an easy solution, and I forgot the easy solution. So I tried some easy solutions, and they're all a fucking nightmare. Mm. So I decided to just use the Windows partition, and I started downloading it there so that I could have it. And I walked back up to the living room, logged off, kicked out. Oh. Uh, it just kicked me out of the game just for downloading it all. Yeah. So that sucked. Uh, otherwise, the game's fine. Yeah. I've been having a fine time. It kind of just throws you in. I'm a little upset the, that the first mission is literally just, you just end up in, a, in, it just throws you into the world. And the very first thing that it tells you to do without giving you any tutorial or context or anything is get $100. <laughs> and okay. Seemingly the only way to do it is to pick up trash on the ground. Okay. Is to walk around and pick up trash and then sell the trash. And I was like, this can't possibly be the only thing that I'm doing right. is just picking up $100 worth of trash. So I picked up a couple dollars worth of trash, and then I went to the uh, their equivalent of the horse racing track and started betting on the horses <laughs> and lost all of the fucking <laughs> money that I had to get. So I started picking up more right. trash again. Um, but the game's fine. It is like a Ubisoft game. It's right. like Assassin's Creed if the uh, parkour is worse and the stealth is worse. <laughs> But it's Star Wars, so it's right. fine. I so far my favorite uh, review, not really a review, but um, the Kotaku headline was "Star Wars Outlaws is a crappy masterpiece." <laughs> and like judging from like the way, like all the stuff I've seen of the game, I, I that kind of makes sense because like objectively, like this is like a, a, a technical achievement. It's a work of art. Like so many people put so much time and sometimes, effort to make it look like as good as it does. Sometimes it's really pretty. Yeah. Sometimes it is absurdly ugly. Exactly. <laughs> like, you know, and there's always, there's going to be something that like rips you out of there. Yeah. For some so. reason, it defaults to 21 by nine aspect ratio okay. with, with, with crops because it wants it to seem cinematic. Yeah. On PC, notably, you can you can take the window and make it however big you want uh -huh. and it and it zooms out and makes it ultra wide for you you can play it like it's a TikTok, yeah. or you can play it like it's just a super ultra wide monitor Got which it. is pretty cool um so i guess that's a technical achievement um one 
issue that I had playing the game. I was going through a stealth section. I made it all the way to the end of the stealth section, and I went to do a stealth takedown on a guy. Yeah. And there was another guy phased into his body. <laughs> so I did a stealth takedown, and then there was another guy. And he turns around and goes, you! And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> so game's a little buggy. It runs fine on that little nook that I was planning on. Right. I haven't tried it on my Asus ROG Ally yet. I'm assuming it's going to run fine. Um, I'm not trying to get like a billion frames out of the thing. Yeah. Um, so for some reason, I want to keep playing it. So I guess that's mm -hmm. a glowing endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> I will play it when it is on Black Friday sale. Oh, Jay Bischoff in the YouTube chat says Epic, the Epic Game Store has yes. Star Wars Outlaws. See, I saw that after. And if I knew that, I would have gotten it on the Epic Store because then I can use the Heroic Launcher on Linux right. to, to get it. And I didn't realize that that would have been a lot easier. But I think you still have to connect to Ubisoft Connect to play Probably. it. Because even when I tried booting up Watch Dogs 2 on my Steam Deck, it still boots up Ubisoft Connect, which doesn't work on the Steam Deck, so I can't play that game online. Ooh. So... Wait, does Watch Dogs not work or Ubisoft Connect not work? Ubisoft Connect doesn't work. So again, I have gotten Ubisoft Connect right. on the Steam Deck. It is a little bit of a pain in the ass. There, there's, a, there's, a, there's a program that you can get that just downloads all of the launchers for you. Yeah. Uh, and that worked pretty good. But okay. uh, it, it's still not as easy as like yeah. using the Heroic Launcher with Epic Game Store and, and that's what you've done. Yeah. Yeah, you did that. Um. It's just a million times easier to just open up the Windows partition and yeah. play it on the Windows partition. 